And joining us now from the Coliseum is Dave Cavill. Uh, Dave, this is going to be the most unique Bay Bridge series ever. What do you anticipate tomorrow night? Well, it's going to be historic because we're not going to have any fans there except for all the cardboard cutouts. Yeah. But it should be a really exciting way to celebrate baseball's return. We're excited to get the season underway and a great season here at the Coliseum. Now, you've had fun on social media with these cutouts, even inviting Giants cutout fans to be at that game tomorrow night. How's that going to play out? Well, we have a visiting fan section. So if visiting fans want to buy cutouts, they can. It's right where the seagulls usually congregate. So you might have to <laughs> look above, could be bombs away. But uh, it should be a fun way to kind of play the rivalry amongst the two teams. Well, if you get off to a slow start at all, that ball is crushed to left field and Kike hurt. Baseball recreating the atmosphere within the stadium without fans, crowd noise, other factors, uh, public address announcer, music. How do you feel about the recreation of those uh, effects? Well, I think you need to acknowledge that it's not the same as the real fans there. Um, but by the same token, I think there's still some really cool ways to have the Let's Go Oakland chant, to have the you know horns, obviously the signs, the cutouts, all those things can, together can still make for an experience that is similar to what we normally have at the Coliseum. I know you welcome fan ideas, uh, open letters to Dave Cavill. What's the most creative idea you uh, have received and perhaps the most outrageous idea? Well, I think the cutouts in general, you know, that was a fan idea that we got several months ago. Um, I think they saw it over in Europe in the Bundesliga. And so we really ran with it. Dave, any ideas you, uh, you ruled out? No question. We're not going to do that. Um, other than the rally possum, to have a live rally possum at the stadium, um, as opposed to a cutout, I think that was the only thing that I thought was a bridge too far. But other than that, we, <laughs> we like to entertain a lot of fun ideas from fans. With COVID-19 uh, dominating the sports headlines, it seems everything else is put on hold. What's the status, and give, uh, can you give an update on Howard Turmel? Oh, we're still making a lot of progress at the waterfront location at Jack London Square. Uh, we're working every week with the city on our development agreement. We've had to change the timelines of some of the things because we can't mm -hmm. have public meetings. Um, but we're still pursuing it 100% and we're excited about the progress that we're making. You see, it uh, seems like you've hit a few roadblocks more than Van Ness Avenue in San Francisco right now. Most recent, uh, the Sierra, uh, Sierra Club. Where does that issue stand right now? Uh, well, you know, they had some factual inaccuracies about the environmental credibility of the project. We really have a green stadium and ballpark development plan, and we want people to know that. And so we made sure to get the word out that we have that we're working very closely with the city to have one of the most sustainable projects in really the history of the Bay Area. Uh, originally, your goal was 2023. Is that still the goal? Well, we're pushing as fast as we can. You know, the ball's a little in the city's court on the timing of bringing the environmental report forward and getting the vote on that. That's kind of the gating item. And we're going to continue to work with them to see how quickly we can do that. And obviously, COVID has had an impact on the timeline. It's just we're not exactly sure what it is yet, and we'll be sure to notify our fans and the community as we learn more. But you remain as optimistic, uh, optimistic as ever about that site at Howard Terminal. I would say I'm more optimistic because I think the project is even more necessary for the city. The city's in a lot of financial trouble. This is a project that's going to bring you know tens of millions of dollars in new tax revenue to the city. They're going to need that, and so I think that will spur the project forward kind of with a new... Uh, more aggressive timeline, which could be good. Oh, great. Um, so, uh, Dave, I'm going to be at the Oakland Coliseum tomorrow night. What I got to do to get a cardboard cutout of myself in the stands going forward? All you got to do is go to the website. You can register. You take a picture of yourself. You upload it, and we get it made and put it in a really exciting spot. So we, you're a local celebrity, so we're going to have you there. We're going to find a way. <laughs> so uh, my caveat, I, I haven't seen any cutouts of a person holding a beer. Can I get that? Of course. If you want to have a beer, that's fine. Maybe with a local <laughs> brew pub, you know, Drake's or something like that. That's fine. <laughs>